What's up everybody, Quan here, back with another video. Before I get started, I just wanna say thank you so much for getting us past that 100 subscriber mark. We're at 150 subscribers at the time of this video. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does great for the channel. But let's get back to business. Today, we're gonna to talk about Connor Murphy. He's about 10 days into his 40 day fast. You guys really liked the last video, so I wanted to come back and bring you something a little special. We're gonna update this every week for the long, the rest of the time he does this fast. We're gonna keep updating, keep it going. If you guys remember from my last video, I'll let you guys know that I am a huge fan of Connor Murphy's. I really just want him to be healthy and safe. So without further ado, let's hear about, let's hear from Connor what he has to say about what's happened so far, the weight loss, etc. I have officially completed seven days of fasting. Seven days without food. Seven days without vitamins. Seven days without any calories whatsoever. Just water. I started the fast at, let me check, 199.4. And after seven days, I weighed myself this morning after completing the seventh day, and I now weigh 186.2. I've lost 13.2 pounds in seven days. So, let's see how my physique looks after losing 13.2 pounds of mostly water, mostly glycogen, some fat too, and maybe the tiniest bit of muscle, but I don't know. I will let you guys decide for yourself. So here is my physique update. On the left is me on day one of the fast. And here on the right is me today, on day eight, when I fully completed seven days of fasting. So as you can see, in the first seven days, now we're on day 10 in real time, but in the first seven days, he lost around 13 pounds. I mean, that's pretty awesome, going from 199 to like 186. I think by now he's lost around 16 to 17 pounds. And again, he mentions that this is not about weight loss for him. For him, this is about just, you know, living the best life that he can live possible and enlightening others, right? It's all about spirituality. It's all about showing people what's possible. It's all about increasing my spiritual potential. I'm not gonna say I fully agree with everything that he's saying, but I definitely understand where his mind state is. So it's pretty easy to, uh, you know, to feel like the man's kind of losing it. But then again, it's when you're trying to become enlightened, it gets, you know, things might get a little tricky. But that's the easy stuff. The part I wanna talk about is his direct response to Greg Doucette. My God, that was hilarious. Folks, here's a few of the back and forths from them. Let me know what you think. Seven days, that's the maximum amount of time that's gonna last. There's no way it's going past seven days. He's gonna be in a hospital before seven days. Well, Greg, you're making it kind of easy for me. This is the easiest point to refute. Right now, I am filming this video on day seven of the fast and I feel incredible. Tomorrow, when you are watching this video, it will be day eight, and the live stream will still be going, and I will not be in a hospital. He got him on that one. Here's another one. He was on a lot of medication. You think that might have affected his heart rate? The medication? Ah, so here Mr. Greg is talking about how my heart rate went from 70 down to 50 in a matter of months. This was due to my change in my lifestyle, my change in my diet, and my heart rate went down to 50 before the psych ward. And before they put me on medication, in fact, I wasn't on medication for the first week in the psych ward, my heart rate was still 50. So no, the medication really didn't affect my heart rate at all. In fact, when I was on the medication, the heart rate didn't really change. I simply improved my heart rate from improving my health. Again, he is straight roasting this man. And honestly, Connor's calm and collected demeanor as he battles back and forth with Greg is amazing. I'm actually a fan of Greg Doucette as well. I think his content definitely has a place. But the way he wraps it up is even better. So just check this little wrap up here. Not identified meaningful steps to be successful in transitioning a safety plan out of the hospital. So yeah, I faked everything. I was acting, but yet when he went to the hospital, he couldn't even convince the staff that he was okay. Now again, I wanted to be in the psych ward. It is very evident that this was an important part of the puzzle in the video, the truth. So if I wanted to be in the psych ward, why would I be so eager, especially at the start, 
to convince the doctors that I'm okay. Well, I wouldn't. In fact, I did have plans in Austin. I had a lot of proof. I recently bought a car. I had bought a car, a car that was ready for me that was sitting in Austin at the time. At the time, I'd signed a lease with an influencer house in Austin. Now, that is not happening. I have other plans now, but I had signed a lease. And three, I actually had a flight booked to Austin. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, no hate towards Greg. He has every right to think I'm absolutely insane, right? If people didn't think I was insane, then this plan would not work whatsoever. So Greg is a very logical, a very smart dude, and you should still watch his videos. He has a lot of cool information. So as I was saying, like it's, it's just insane to watch how the back and forth went and how Connor seems to be so calm about it. And here's something that Connor, Connor mentioned something about his mindset going forward. I'm gonna share that with you real quick. But again, no matter what you watch, no matter what external information you take in, you cannot know the truth until you experience it yourself. And honestly, man, this has been a, it's been a really great experience to watch him so far. He's lost, you know, some weight, which he says that's not the kid, that's not what he wanted. I mean, it's not his main focus. He's lost some weight. He's he seems to be in a really clear mental space, but I'm very interested in seeing what happens with him on like day 14 through 21. I feel like that second to third week is really when he's going to feel it. He says here that hunger isn't really something that he feels. Now you're probably wondering, wow, seven days, I would be starving. Well, here's the interesting part. I haven't really got too hungry yet. Now, you'll find that when you start fasting, your hunger will start correlating with when you would usually eat. I usually fast until later in the day. So there's a certain hunger type feeling that starts approaching later in the evening, but it's hard to call it hunger. It feels more like a food addiction. It doesn't feel like I'm hungry. It just feels like I'm craving some foods, you know, some sweet fruit or something sounds good right now, but I'll find that I'm really only hungry when I think about it. When I go to sleep and wake up the next morning, I'm not thinking about food whatsoever and I'm not hungry again. So I've never really felt hungry. I feel like I'm going through food withdrawals, if that makes sense. So my energy levels are great and my hunger is at bay so far. But in my opinion, there's no way that he doesn't feel hunger. I mean, it has to be pretty intense what he's feeling. I mean, I know he's so focused on his mental state that he might be able to combat those hunger feelings, but I mean, eight, nine, 10 days without food is vicious. I mean, it's, it's, it's a rough go. So I think he's going through a lot, but I think he's going to achieve the goal. At first, I know I said I didn't think he was gonna make it the 40 days, but Connor's proving me wrong. I think he's gonna make it, but we've got four, almost five more weeks of this to go. I mean, four and a half weeks or so, that's, that's a long time. I'm gonna cover it every time that I can. Um, every week, we're gonna keep talking about this, but I did wanna say, as I said in my last video, and you guys didn't make it to that part, but I hope you make it to it this time. I want Connor to be okay. I pray that some of this is acting to a certain extent. I pray that his mental state is okay. I know he's mentioned multiple times about, you know, being when he was in the psych ward him taking medication, him not taking medication, how that went. But I just pray the man's okay, honestly. For me, picking apart the stuff that's happened as this has kind of blown up has been fun. But also I realize that this is a very serious and a very tough situation that is happening. Um, I just pray for his safety and his health and that he finds exactly what he's looking for. I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna keep covering Connor Murphy. If you don't like what I have to say, giving me a dislike is not gonna kill me. Um, I just say, keep it clean in the comments, no personal attacks. Otherwise, I thank you guys for watching the video. As I said at the beginning, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us go. Let's get this channel up to 250, maybe even 500 subs. Who knows where we can go from here, but let's just keep breaking things down. I've got four more videos for you guys coming today on different topics, so let's stay tuned. We're getting in the grind. Let's keep it going. Once again, my name's Quan. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.